The Bible says in 1 John 5, 4, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. And right here, ooh, my computer almost fell. <laughs> right here is 1 John 5. And it says, Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. To me, that's an extremely powerful verse. Um, if you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, if your faith in Jesus Christ, you overcame the world. And, uh, you know, that word overcometh, it, it appears a lot in Revelation. And many times it refers to, you know, Basically, back to this verse that we, we overcame the world, and you know, the devil doesn't care who or what you are as long as you're not saved. And um, the world is against the gospel, the gospel is an offense unto the proud, and um, it's an offense unto the religious institutions. It's an offense onto the flesh. Um, but I want you guys to remember, you know, if you guys are having a bad time, remember this verse. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? This world may try to... Um, You know, just mess mess with you uh, extensively, <laughs> but if you believe in the name of the G of the Son of God, if you believed on Jesus Christ, you overcame the world. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves His enemies. And he w wants to reconcile them back onto him through Jesus Christ. But that message is offensive. Because men don't want to be told that their deeds are evil. But Jesus said that the deeds of men are evil. In, uh, in John chapter 3 verse 19. But the ones that humble themselves and believe the gospel. The Bible says we overcame the world. Thank you Jesus. Amen.